What's up guys? Today on Build Dad Build, we're gonna build a couple of planers for the backyard. And right now I have what I would call a blank canvas. Look at this, uh, look at this fence. Don't mind the, uh, the toys in the middle of the yard, but I just have this expanse of fence. And that is a utility easement, which means you're really not supposed to dig there, but we wanna put in a couple of fruit trees and old me <laughs> probably would have just dug there anyway but new me is trying to be respectful of that and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to build some raised planters and plant the fruit trees in there so i'm going to do um i think to start with just two boxes okay after measuring i want to say probably like two and a half feet by two and a half feet um, I want them to be boxes, I want them to be squares, so I don't want them to stick out too far in the yard. My math will involve something that I'm probably here. put up right here. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 30 inches, which is two and a half feet, and divide that by 5.25, five and a quarter, and figure out how many pickets up the box is going to be. I'm guessing like six and some change. So let's just say for argument's sake, it's gonna be six, and then I'm gonna do a little lip on the top. So it won't, be, it won't be perfectly square, but it'll be pretty close. This is gonna be a really simple entry-level project. Basically, all you need is a drill or a screw gun and a circular saw. I know what you're thinking. Nick, you got that miter saw right there. Why don't you just, uh, why don't you just set that up and cut them all on there? I ain't gonna lie, I probably am gonna do the majority cuts on my miter saw because you know what? It's right there and I have one. But you can very easily do it with a circular saw. I will show you how to do it. I also, for time saving purposes, I'm gonna use a nail gun instead of nailing the finished pieces around, but you could absolutely nail those with a hammer and nails as well. Let's do this. Let's, let's build some stiff. Okay, so one way to make sure that you're making a straight cut is to use a speed square. Um, I picked up just a 12 inch one because I feel like it's more versatile. Um, I'll link to this one in the description below. Uh, I got it on Amazon, it's 15 bucks or something. So once I get my blade dialed in, so I'm looking at it right here, it's on that side of the line. I'm gonna bring my speed square over to it, clamp this on there. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I'm referencing the speed square as I make my cut. And there you go. So we're going to measure this and I bet you it's not 30 inches. Yep, no, it is. So that measures in 30 inches, but let's say you actually cut that at like 29 and three quarters. Let's say you messed up just a little bit. Well, we're building a box and all of these pieces just need to be the same size. So if you messed up on one, just use that one as your, as your frame of reference. So maybe your boxes are 29 and, and three quarters, but as long as all the cuts are the same length, it's still gonna make a box, it's still gonna fit together and nobody else is gonna know that it's a quarter inch shy except you. All right, so let's just do uh, like what, 48 more of these? So another tip if you are gonna use the miter saw is this is my cut piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna square it up to my blade. So if you're touching the blade and you're touching the back fence, you're square. I'm gonna take this piece of wood right here. I'm gonna bring it up. This is gonna be my, my stop block. Okay, so now I have a reference to where all of my cuts are gonna be the exact same length. So that right there is the walls of one box. So that is five slats per side and a box, so four sides. Took 15 minutes, 10 minutes to cut that. All right, back to work, we gotta build another box. So what I've done here is I've just laid out five planks, because it's gonna be five tall, right? And I laid my two by two out next to it, squared it up at the bottom, and all I'm gonna do is come in here and draw a line right there. And that's how I know where to cut the support piece. All right, now we wanna make sure everything's square. So I'm using this two by 
as kind of a reference to push both this board and this board against. This back one. I don't really need these in here. I just need this one so it doesn't so it stays at the right height. That's against there. Borrowed these knee clamps from Jesse Ueda. I'll give them back. Alright, and then once I've got that one done, I'm just gonna kind of do the same thing all the way up. And you can listen to my neighbor while it's long. Also just make sure you pay attention to where your other screws are so you're not screwing directly at that same spot. Alright, and we're back from picking up one more 2x2 two two because I'm an idiot. So we're going to build the other side of this box now and then we're just going to join them together. Now the best way to get this next part done is to think inside the box. Jokes aside, the easiest way to do this now is to put your second side up, get your top square drive a screw, get your bottom square, drive a screw, and then just get the rest done. Guess what you do now. So if you're a super beginner, you can stop right here. And this will be fine. It's cedar, it's gonna age, it's gonna silver, it's gonna do the stuff that silver does. Uh, it'll hold dirt. And that's all you really need to do. It'll look cool in your backyard. I'm gonna do a couple more things to it. All I'm gonna do is run a border on each corner and a border around the top to kind of make it look a little bit more finished. I was gonna miter the edges for those, but I figured we'd keep this really entry level. So instead I'm just gonna do box joints again. Uh, I'm gonna use my nail gun to put those on. Kind of like putting baseboards or a crown molding in the house, right? We're just gonna kind of cover up uh, those corners. Stay tuned because first, I gotta build another one of those boxes. All right guys, good day and welcome to day two. This is probably a one day build if you got like six to eight hours, but I usually have like three, because twin toddlers. All right, so today we're gonna to finish the boxes. So we're gonna do a trim piece around the corner, a trim piece around the top. I am gonna be ripping these on my table saw, my little job side table saw. You can rip them with a circular saw. I was actually thinking about it too. If you don't have a table saw, you wouldn't even really need to rip these to do the sides. You could do a full piece on each side and it would just be chunkier. So this is how we're gonna do it. We're just literally gonna take this post, let's pick it, we're gonna put it right up against here. Then I'm gonna mark the line. I'm gonna cut that on my miter saw and then I'm gonna rip it on my table saw. So I square that up as best I can from top to bottom and then... All right, so now we're gonna repeat that seven more times. I'm literally measuring off of each corner as I go. Make it easier on yourself. Don't try to cut all the pieces at once. Your box isn't gonna be completely square. Those pickets are never all the same width. Just go by, mark one, cut it off, rip it, repeat. Easy. And that's that, that's the sides. It took about 30 minutes, probably would've taken 20 without the camera. Again, this isn't super pretty up here, but it's going outside. So you could stop right here. I'm gonna run a lip all the way around this just to cover up this madness if you want more madness check out the video in the link up here where i carve a cool little spartan helmet into a dice light it on fire good times so i already have my table saw set to two and a half inches to do these pieces which gives you like a little under a three inch piece cut off but that that just happens to fit almost perfect over all of this stuff I did that off camera kind of on accident. Uh, my kids are freaking out a little bit inside. I let them come out here while I was uh, gluing and nailing that on there. I thought I hit record. I did not. But you get the gist, right? 
Like we did the same thing we did on these on there. We just ran those across there. Can you hear them? They're still freaking out. It's okay. We just, we threw some kibble down. They should be okay in a few minutes. I'm kidding. My wife's in there with them. All right, again, this next step is completely optional and a little bit dangerous. So just, if you don't know what you're doing, don't try to light stuff on fire without taking the proper safety precautions and being very safe. 